Hey guys, HW. Back in the city. It's Saturday morning. Didn't have time to do a film during the week. And I'm just standing in Phillip Lane. Been here before. But that's the uh, Conservatorium of Music over there, straddling the Botanic Gardens. There's a few joggers getting around. I don't know what time it is now. Let me check my phone. It's about quarter to nine or something like that. But let's just pause here for a second and if any of you are wondering, yeah, I'm pretty depressed about the 49ers losing the Super Bowl last week. But um, now it's time to jump over to the Major League Baseball and the other Bay team that I support in the baseball, the San Francisco Giants. So I'm wearing that hat today. I don't think the season proper starts until later in um, later in March. But um, I'm looking forward to to getting on board the Giants and uh, wait for the football to start again at the end of the year and get back on the 49ers. So we look over to the Conservatorium of Music. Last night I was watching the local rugby league. I was watching the Indigenous. Uh, oh, sorry, I shouldn't say rugby league because rugby league and NFL is completely different. But I was watching the local football and I was watching the Indigenous All Stars from Australia versus the Maori All Stars from New Zealand. It was a good match. It was a good kick off to the to the season. Uh, the NRL, so the rugby league and the team that I support, the South Sydney Rabbitohs, they're going to be playing in Las Vegas for the first game of the season this year. Uh, I think it's in early March, so early next month. So if you're around that area, get down to Allegiant Stadium and, and watch the uh, Rugby League. You won't be disappointed. So let's do the weather, weather observation while we're standing here on the corner of Phillip Lane and Macquarie Street. Hopefully you can see my phone. Gonna snap the microphone on, so it's gonna be. Can you see that? 29 degrees in Sydney today, which is about 84 Fahrenheit. I'm gonna take my sunglasses off. Can't see the phone screen. Yeah, 29 degrees. The winds from the southeast at two kilometers an hour, so it's gonna make it a bit humid. 89 degrees Fahrenheit but yeah it's currently 23 and a half but it's warming up quickly I was walking down Macquarie Street just before it was stinking hot so I'm not looking forward to to that but uh, we'll see how we go so the plan today so I'm gonna walk down Bridge Street down to George Street I'm gonna zigzag around so I'm gonna walk so I'm going to walk down to George Street and then back up to Macquarie Street down different streets. So I'm going to go down Bridge Street first down to George, so we're walking downhill. And then I'll probably walk up either Hunter or Brent Street on the way back, which means we're going to have to be walking back up to Macquarie Street. So plenty of, plenty of hills in Sitters. So here we are turning into Bridge Street. And I did notice when I was walking around before that... Uh, being a Saturday morning there's a quite a bit of building work going on so I'll try to avoid that racket as much as I can but it just seems to be building everywhere around Sydney at the moment and somewhere along the way we'll have to get in and have a nectar as well so whatever tickles my fancy along the way I'll stop and, and have a crack. Oh, there's the Intercontinental Hotel. I always like the look of that hotel. Never stayed in there myself. I think it's got a pretty nice uh, rooftop bar as well. 
hope to get in there for a cocktail one day. Never paid attention to that before, but have a look at the uh, the head of the queen here on this secretary for works building and the lovely clock. I assume that that's probably Queen Victoria up there, being such an old building. Four pillars over there. Looks like it's open for breakfast. The knives and forks out. Umbrellas up. Oh, they're serving all press coffee. So that's an option one day. And over Young Street and our first view of the bridge and circular key down there. That office space over there is for lease in those old terraces. Hopefully the camera kicks on for as long as possible before it overheats. It's Loftus Street. So a few people coming out of their hotel over there. See the bellboy got their bags. I don't know what hotel that is. And I'm not going to stop to check, so you'll have to look it up yourself. Have a look at what hotel there is in Loftus Street in the old sandstone building. That old building there looks quite out of, uh, out of place in the skyline now. Oh, Gresham Street. Oh, there's that winter garden over there. I've walked through that food court before. Just once. Oh, I think I've eaten in there once as well. Pretty quiet on the Pitt Street bike path this morning. Coffee shop Marlowe's Way is not open yet in Tank Stream Way. Maybe they don't open on Saturdays, I'm not sure.
tell you what, it's heating up behind me. Sun's beating down on my back on the top of jo uh, Bridge Street. Certainly going to be a hot one today. Can't wait to get back in the shade. Okay, it's a big bus, nobody on it. Too early for the tourists. Still in the hotel eating the buffet breakfast provided. Corner of George and Bridge where the old McDonald's used to be. Long gone. the old thorough, thoroughfare George Street a bit a bit more life around People waiting at the light rail stop and a few people down at Grumpy Bakers Showing the pastries and nectars. Looks pretty quiet and boring down there. And we'll wait and go to the next one. Passing by Australia Square here and seeing other YouTube videos that bloody leaf blowers. Well, I've got to put up with a uh, a, a water jet cleaner, uh, what do you call them? A gurney. Jetting the tiles clean. Alright, oh, let's get down here. Wow, it certainly is humid. It's starting to sweat already. Tourists coming out of the hotel tank stream here. Oh, 
uh, here's the corner of Hunter Street. Should we walk up Hunter Street? Nah. I just walked up there before when I had the camera off on my way to the to the next uh, next street. Oh, Empire Lane. I'm not going to go down there because there's a big building site up above. Likely to get hit by something. Looks like the next up street's gonna be Martin Place. I was gonna go up Spring and Bent, but there's too many construction workers around. If you hadn't guessed, we're in Pitt Street. Oh, look at that little coffee cart there, even open on the weekend. It's interesting. I was too busy looking where I was going to say uh, say anything when that builder was giving his salute. But I smiled at him anyway. Let's get across here. Yeah, same old story. No lady in red. No Keanu Reeves. But at least today, no seagull. Look at that. That rainy day we had, uh, like many weeks ago, there's still water in there, look. Obviously not from the same rain event, but it's obviously not draining very well. Someone needs to come and clean the drains out. Oh no, we're coming up to some building construction now. So I might quickly just switch off the camera here. Look at this, I was quite shocked to see this. Hadn't noticed this before, but Channel 7's gone out of this building. Or maybe they're renovating, but they've even like taken down part of their sign there. And there's a big Felice sign on the on the side of the building. Do you remember when the studio was in there? And they used to do their morning shows. I wonder why they wonder why they moved. Maybe it's part of the construction, they've got to make some changes to the building and so they've decided to to vacate. But yeah, Channel 7 gone, wow. They do have a couple other facilities in the city so they've probably moved to them. I 
I think this is Phillips Street here. Tell you what, I'm already sting for a nectar, and I'm thinking to myself, I might go to uh, Jardin St James if it's open. So I love that joint. I've never, never seen these old photos before. Again, I've spoken about this before. I love how they put the historical photos on the sides of the building constructions. Look at that. It's about to say window washer, but he's not cleaning the windows. He's cleaning the side of the building. Oh, there's another one just there. He hasn't come down yet though. That one's just near where we are now. Sydney Hospital. That's Sydney Hospital over there. Oh, while I look at these fountains here, it reminds me. I set up another channel a while back called Sydney Ground Up. I've got it down in my description or, or about us on the channel. So if you like the short form of video and you want to see a glimpse of Sydney every now and again, feel welcome to check out that. Sydney Ground Up. I originally set it up as a bit of a test to see if that channel would grow faster than my main channel and initially it was going quite well but then it just slowed down all of a sudden so I don't know what happened there tell you what this uh, shade is a delight I might walk along the uh, road here view through the hospital there down to the domain love walking through Sydney Hospital to get down to the domain it's great well, this nectar shop here the chambers is open I think I've only ever had a coffee there once in the whole time I've lived in Sydney once and I can't remember whether it was a takeaway or a sit down, it was that long ago. Oh, the mid building's having a bit of restoration done to it as well. There's a dead set building everywhere in Sydney. Know where they're getting the money from. So nobody wants to come into the office so then you'd think that the office space was quite quiet but then all the buildings are bloody under construction all the time like miraculously a few million people are going to move in damn it Jardin St James is not open yet oh this is a rage Maybe it doesn't open on Saturdays. Damn it. I wonder what's going on today. They've got they've got the road blocked there. Must be gonna be another protest. Jardin St James, why aren't you open? Look at that. It'd be delightful to be sitting over there in front of those flowers, enjoying a nectar. Although it'd be quite warm in the sun, so maybe it is a good thing that it's closed. Maybe that's a more uh, afternoon nectar spot. To get my thinking caps on now to work out where I'm going to get a nectar. 
I'll join you when we get down to King Street. All right, we're in King Street now. Let's walk down the wrong way over the, the bike path. Because that's the down lane over there. This is the up lane. So let's walk down the up lane. And hopefully we shouldn't have any trouble from the cyclists. Not many of them around. But here's an example of the, sh the crap bike lanes that we've got in Sydney. There ain't many people that want to ride up a hill. Unless they've got an electric bike. So there's not many people that actually use this path here. And it's pretty useless. And you, you'll see when we get further down. None of them connect up with anywhere you actually want to go. So at least this is a bit of a west to east path which I always cry out for but you'll see down the end of the bike path down here it just stops you see down the end there where the green stops so that then joins King Street which means the cyclist is then in the traffic putting their life in the hands of some idiot that's driving along looking at their mobile phone so again pretty pretty useless bike lanes in Sydney it's one of the only uh, main thoroughfares to get from west to east so there's so many cars using it and that's probably why they can't stick or can't extend the the bike line bike lane through that stretch down there it's happening in the pit street mall few punters around shopping Tiffany & Co is not open yet Toby's estate's open to live for. Here we are back on George Street. The cyclists getting around. Here comes the tram. This one's not the Ramwick one. This one's the uh, one that goes down Anzac Parade to uh, South Juniors at Kingsford. Usually we see the Ramwick tram. Apple store employees waiting at the ready one person in the queue waiting to be directed over to one of the 
experts McDonald's pretty quiet a few people in there Ah, screw it, let's have a little bow peep through the Strand Arcade. Gonna be here next week during the week to have a coffee with a colleague flying in from uh, Malaysia. Thinking about taking him to uh, Gumption Coffee Alchemy. They're pretty good roasters, so why not? They're not open, look at that. Still setting up, open up. Black and white espresso bar in there. Look at all the sandwiches they got ready. And cookies and cakes. Sat down there a few times at old Romolo. Oh, look at these watches. I never spend too much time sticking the camera in jewelers' windows because they get the craps and shoot you off. They're worried you're going to advertise all, to all the smash and grubbers what they got on offer. Microsoft's not open yet. Colleen is still in there. Wiping the floors down. Waiting for the punters to come in and grab their uh, surface tablets and whatever else. Oh, look at this. We have a display set up, the old typewriter versus the tablet book versus tablet telephone Polaroid camera versus tablet and phone little arcade head handheld arcade machine versus the Xbox Market Street up to Elizabeth Street. Battery's starting to run pretty low though, so I'm gonna have to stop and change the battery when we get up to St. James, I reckon. You can't see what I can see, but looking up to to Archibald Fountain up there and the uh, St Mary's Cathedral in the background, it's a beautiful shot. If I had like a telescopic camera, I could zoom in on it for you and possibly take a nice photo as well. But it looks uh, looks sensational. Might stop over there to change the battery, and then I can give you. 
a look when we get a bit closer. Sneak across. If you get on now, I've got the green light. One lonely figure crawling through the tunnel down there. If this joint up here was open, I might even have a coffee there. But let's use the... Oh, there's the view that I was talking about. So let's use the tables over here to change the battery. Alright, let's change the battery. Let's get amongst the, the ibis here, the bin chickens. Walking through the park. Look at this cheeky one. Won't even move out of the way. And he's mate over here. And his mates over here. Now oh, that one's a bit jumpy. It's being chased around by some kids by the look of things. I think next we'll walk down Park Street to George Street and then we'll probably uh, walk up Bathurst I have no idea where I'm going to get a nectar right now and I'm absolutely sweating for one I asked the uh, cafe owner back at St James there station when he was going to open up and he was pretty grumpy and he goes 10 and I didn't hear him so I asked him again oh 10 he goes yes oh okay <laughs> see so it's all well and good to own a cafe and be your own boss but all the people that I know that have ever owned and operated cafes have said yeah it's can be good money but the the working hours are brutal because you got to get up at the crack of dawn and open up and they got to prepare food and then at the end of the day when they've all packed up they've got to do the books so it's a pretty pretty hard lifestyle I think And look at all the ibis on this lawn here. There's millions of them. I wonder what they find in the grass. Are they looking for worms or what? That one's got a tag on it. Uh. I wonder why that particular one's got a tag and the other ones don't. Maybe that one's a, a breeder that they're tracking. They might have given it some poison to, or not poison, maybe they've given it some drugs to make it infertile to try to bring the numbers down. they are in plague proportions in Sydney, the old Ibis. Whew, I tell you what, it is absolutely, you could cut the air with a knife, it's so humid. I 
just sitting here on the wall of Hyde Park on the corner of uh, Park and Elizabeth Street just trying to cool down because it's getting humid here's the wall that I'm sitting on I'll sit here and wait for the green line to cross a uh, green light to cross over Elizabeth Street head down Park and George Street and then head up Bathurst there we go Tell you what, it doesn't give you a green walk signal for very long. You have to be an Olympic sprinter to get across before it turns red. They should have one of those countdowns or one of those lights that flashes because it creates too much angst between the driver and the pedestrian. I like that sign a lot. One of my most favourite words in the English dictionary. There's all these bloody cement mixes and everything down in Castle Ray Street, so I saved you from having to suffer through that. Again, look at that light, how fast it changed. Absolute joke. That looks like fun, not. Back in George Street, time to head up Elizabeth. All those flying rats over there on the ground. Someone must be feeding them. There they go. Footlocker. I'm going to expire soon if I don't grab a nectar. These coffee shops need to open up earlier on Saturday. Kai over there starting up a debate evolution versus creation
It's another one of those thoroughfares, Bathurst Street, to get from west to east. That's why all the cars, and that's why there's no bike lane in this street. Join up here is popular. It's got the Campos Coffee Le Monde. All the tourists are clamoring in there to get their morning nectar. Too busy for HW. I won't be stopping there. Oh, that Ted's camera store's still there. That's been there since day dot. Well, that bank branch is still open. A lot of other bank branches aren't. It's hard to find a bank branch in Australia now, Sydney. Don't know what it's like for you over there, but... They're fast moving towards the cashless society. $9.45 breakfast at Subway. Coffee, half a half a roll and a cookie. Coffee cookie sandwich, 9.45. Sort of cheating a bit now, I'm not going George Street to Macquarie Street, now I'm going George Street to Elizabeth Street. <laughs> so let's take the chance to cross over Bathurst Street here and we'll find another route down to George Street. And then I'm afraid we're going to have to find a nectar because I'm going to perish soon. There's the big fire station in Sydney just there. I think they keep the trucks in this bit here. But don't, um, don't quote me on that. They may have made some changes that are since I've been past here last. Because I can't really see any trucks on that side either. I just see a museum. Maybe they're all loud or oh, look at this joint. Alpha. Looks like a nice place to have a spot to eat and a drink. Let's have a look what the prices are. So the entrees are between $12 and $36. Things like olive plates, through to peppers, king prawns, halloumi, octopus, eggplant, some spicy chicken and then the mains go from $33 through to $65. $65 is a Wagyu ribeye sandwich. That's an expensive sandwich, isn't it? 65 bucks. Got some side salads between $14 and $24. And then the desserts are between $11 and $20. 
beautiful looking building. I don't know whether I want to pay those prices though. It's a true outrage. So telephone exchange over here. They got all the wine in the window. I don't know whether that's a cooler or it's just old body, old bottles on display. If they are real bottles, you hope that they're being cooled in there. Controlled the temperature. This is the other part of the telephone exchange here. Covered in graffiti. Oh, Jim and Co coffee, it's not open either. It used to be able to sneak through here to the other side. I wonder if it's open. Nah. Looks like we'll be taking Liverpool Street down to uh, George. All these joints are gone. They're all for lease and cleared out. Same with this joint. It's all quiet, all's quiet on the western front. Oh, Hotel Downing. Look at all the sports playing up on the up above the bar there. Oh, yeah, there's a woman in there getting ready to open. I don't know whether any of you guys came to Sydney in the 90s, but this building here it used to be a big internet cafe. I think it was a big global gossip internet cafe. Or oh, no, it wasn't. It was it was owned by that guy that uh, runs the uh, EasyJet company over in the UK it was one of his internet cafes I think it was called easy internet or something like that shark hotels closed up getting ready for tonight a few people using this cycle route which is good to see probably probably rode up to Centennial Park had a ride around there and come back This little hole in the wall next to joints open. Should we try it? Macchiato. Oh yeah, Macchiato. I haven't been here for years. Yeah, let's give it a crack. Oh, waiting for the nectar. Look at all these delicious pastries. Donuts. I'm tempted. Banana bread. What do we got down here? Bacon and egg rolls, spinach and cheese, chicken avo wraps. Oh, macchiato. So I got my coffee. I need like welder's gloves to hold it. It's an absolute volcano. I'll probably be, be able to drink it sometime next year. Across the road from the Shark Hotel on the corner of Liverpool and um, Pitt Street. Let me see if I dare try a bit. Oh, I tell you what, it is an absolute volcano. I'm going to have to take the cap off.
there's obviously some builders around here that scream out for like a piping hot coffee to take back to work but I'm gonna have to let this cool down for a bit oh while I'm talking about this coffee at macchiato let me have a quick shout out to um, an anonymous subscriber who shouted me three coffees the other day yes uh, last week Wednesday I think it was shouted me three coffees so whoever that anonymous benefactor is this nectar's on you cheers even if it is an absolute <laughs> volcano so let's watch the goings on and livable street for a little while while I have this coffee tell you what it's got a nice strong taste to it so if you're walking down old Liverpool Street definitely an option for you but probably better to have it in the ceramic cup so it might be a bit easier to drink and this takeaway it is scorching hot There he goes, delivery driver, rider. All right, let's kick off again on Liverpool Street as we stare at this massive stretched Hummer. Can fit a few people in there. Microphone cables all tangled up. I'll untangle it. Old Square's got some Chinese lanterns up, shouting out to the Lunar New Year. Well, let's walk up George Street and escape into Town Hall. Bit of, bit of Lunar New Year action on George Street as well. Yeah. <laughs> 
sneaking through the tunnel. And I say goodbye to you when we get into the uh, into the station proper. Excuse me. So you go past some of these shops and see the fresh fruit. I'm tempted to have a big bowl of like sliced pineapple and watermelon and stuff. Sounds delightful. I might have that later when I get home. Two black sheeps open, but there's not many people there. I get over here, still some Valentine's teddy bears up in the shelves. But we've passed that. Soul Origin's not open. Oh, I'm gonna have to get my ticket out, am I? There it is. This will do. Platform three. Oh, there's the train there. Oh. Made it. Yes. Nice and air conditioned on here as well. So I'll sit down here and as I make my way over the bridge, I'll say goodbye to you. Thanks for coming on the little skirt around Sydney today. See you in the next one. The video is over.